The PC version of Marvel Spider-Man is really the best way to experience the game, especially if you never played it before. Where the remastered version on PS5 already added ray tracing for the first time in the fidelity mode, you would still be running the game at 30 FPS. But now on PC you can select multiple ray tracing options, including very high, making New York City feel even more alive and especially the indoor areas look amazing, but you can now do this next to a steady 60 FPS and go even higher if your screen supports that. I toyed around with one of my favorite PS4 games on PC thanks to Sony for the code and I want to share my experience while also looking at all the outfits that the game has to offer because there are way more now than at the original launch in 2018. So of course if you like Marvel Spider-Man then leaving a like on the video would really help me out and subscribe for way more Spider-Man content and let's go. We of course start the game with the small spider classic suit that has a damaged version as well and actually when swinging around in that suit very early on in the game you will already be able to see other suits that you got unlocked in the photo mode. Like there are a ton because every suit that was added post launch to the PS4 version and then later to the PS5 version of the game are available day one on PC. You can already use them after the something old or something new main mission which like one or two hours into the game. For this mission you have to craft Insomniac's advanced suit with the white spider. I think it looks great but if you then go to your suit window and scroll scroll down you will find 10 extra suits that are already unlocked including the amazing web suit of course from the Sam Raimi movies. It really was the most requested suit for the game and Insomniac dropped it with a free update pretty soon after the PS4 launch but now on PC you can play the entire game with this amazing suit if you want. But if you want to get more wacky you can immediately equip the bombastic bag suit yes with a paper bag as a hat instead. In the comics Spider-Man cannot act access his own suit so he gets a spare older Fantastic Four suit and has to use this bag to protect his identity. And when Peter joins the Future Foundation he gets the Future Foundation suit, also an early unlock in this game. It's made out of unstable molecules by Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic of course, and it's the only full white suit in the game making it really stand out. To promote Far From Home, Insomniac added two suits from that film to Marvel Spider-Man with the upgraded red and black suit and also the pretty cool full black stealth suit. I really like the goggles here they use. Yes, the amazing suit from the Andrew Garfield movies is in this game, which of course looks pretty slick, but more unique is the Arachnid Rider suit with a very comic-y look that makes it immediately stand out. It's not from the comics though, but seems to be a tribute to the Eastern superhero Common Rider, at least that is what people are thinking. It's only one of my favorite suits in the game. They also made an upgraded armored version of the Insomniac Advanced suit, still with the big white spider but with better protection for Peter. And the No Way Home suits are also in the PC version at launch with the gold spider hybrid suit but also the more interesting inside out suit or in the game called black and gold. There were of course a lot of theories when this suit was revealed but turns out that this was made to combat Electro in No Way Home with the awesome gauntlet giving Peter the power to capture the villains he would run into. On one hand I'm jealous of everyone who can run through this game for the first time with these amazing suits unlocked from the start. On the other hand I would have a really hard time picking which one to use and there are even more suits you can unlock and most of them also come with a suit power that can really help you out in combat. Overall I gotta say that the keyboard and mouse controls are quite decent. I easily got used to the swinging with the shift key, press X to dive down and then shift to continue to go through the city. The combat itself was less for me though, left mouse button for the regular punches or holding it to punch enemies in the air just doesn't feel the same compared to the square button on a PlayStation controller. You can still use shift to web around but then control to dodge it just did not really feel great, switching to gadgets was kind of annoying and using two for the takedowns just doesn't have the same impact. Now you can of course map any key to any action if you want so you can really tweak a lot but overall I think combat is just way better with a controller, also using the shoulder button to web someone just feels way better. And if you play the PC version with a PS5 DualSense then you can still feel the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers which is kind of awesome. Now there are things that do work 
work better on PC and even if you play with a controller you can quickly switch the mouse and keyboard for these mini games like the little research puzzles where you can now drag and drop pieces instead of having to do it on a tile for tile basis. Unlocking frequencies for the radio towers now gives you two easy options so you can faster unlock those and simply picking up and examining things in the environment also works better with the mouse and keyboard. And I found using the camera also nicer on PC you of course use this to make shots of certain buildings and other points of interest and you can do this in the open world for landmark tokens which are needed to craft suits. There are also backpack tokens where you have to find the high school bags speeder left throughout the city, bases you can complete where you have to defeat waves of enemies, there are simple crimes in the city and other side activities that will all give you a specific token. Two backpack tokens and two base tokens are for example needed for the old school spidey suit from the 2008 noir comics. Speaking of goggles, this one has some nice ones as well. The Scarlet Spider can be crafted at level 4 with the nice hoodie over the red suit, but if you prefer black, then you got the Spider Armor MK2 suit with the gold spider, and as you might know, this is just one of the MK suits, but more on that in a moment. First up, on level 7 you can get the Secret War suit, because yes, almost every other level you can craft a new suit, with level 9 giving you access to the Stark suit from Civil War of course, I use this one quite a lot. On level 11 you can craft the negative suit with the glowing white and black, including black eyes. And I totally forgot about this next one, the electrically insulated suit with the bigger eyes, which is quite nice. And by the way, if you pre-ordered the game, you get access to some suits early on including the iconic spider punk outfits that you otherwise have to craft at level 16. Yes it has the mohawk and the awesome jackets and also a great suit power where you can easily throw enemies from rooftops. Yes this never gets old. On level 19 you can craft the wrestler suit, kind of a throwback to the first the Toby movie of course although the suit is quite different. After that you can unlock the blue glowing suit the fear itself. I especially love the gloves with this one but if you prefer a glow in the dark style then the stealth big time suit is for you i really dig the big green spider over the chest here and my favorite spider armor suit is the mk3 which i used quite a lot in my first playthrough back on ps4 i especially dig the shoulder pads for this one a suit and spider-man that was already teased for the across the spider first part one movie is the 2099 black suit with the two horns on both arms just the very stylistic blue and red combo with a very cool spider. Now of course the suit that Peter used in Infinity War is also craftable in the game but at level 31 or immediately if you pre-ordered Marvel Spider-Man and yes the suit power of course has these iron arms pop out just like in the movie and the cool part is that just like with any suit power you can equip it on another suit so then a different suit can have these arms. And there is by the way one suit that actually changes the arms a bit more on that a little later because now we're we're looking at the velocity suit that Insomniac made themselves, also a pre-order bonus, otherwise craftable at level 33. I always liked the high-tech design of this suit myself. The Spider Armor MK4 is also in the game, which is not that over the top, but adds some nice green eyes to Spidey. And of course goes for a more protective build. But I personally hope that for Marvel Spider-Man 2, that is of course planned for PS5 next year, we get more suits like the Spirit Spider, also known as Ghost Spider. As this really completely changes Spider-Man as we know him. This one has a constant flame on our skull and the story behind it is that Peter was in a coma but freed by an astral form of Dr. Banner who just got killed but was still able to give Peter a second life. Pretty wild stuff, but it makes for a really unique and cool suit. The white 2099 suit unlocks at level 39, and I think this is a perfect sort of end game suit that you can unlock. And yes, there's also the vintage comic book suit that, as the name suggests, it looks as if Spidey jumped straight out of a comic. And it works surprisingly well in the realistic environment. Totally a standout compared to the other suits with the final suit you unlock at a high level being the lost stand suit with the awesome jacket and the unique spider on the chest. 
You only need like crime tokens for this one, but it is quite steep. You namely need 20 to unlock it. Although you will have to do many crimes to complete all the districts anyways if you want to go for the undies outfit. <laughs> yes, this is Peter in his boxers with the mask of course still on, but next to his web shooters, nothing else. So again, you need to complete the main story, side missions and have 100% district completion for this one. So basically complete the most that the game has to offer. And yes, you can also use the iron arms with this one which looks rather painful if you unlock all the 55 backpacks so you get the homemade suit from the homecoming movie of course that looks quite awesome there's a dark suit for finding all the black cat stakeouts in the game which is like a different activity awesome outfit we'll leave a link to how you can get it in the video description for if you are curious but the biggest grind is for the esu outfit for this one you have to take 50 photos of secret spots in new york and you can only see these spots after unlocking a level 50 suit mod and after being close to that spot now luckily you can already take these photos before that if you just know where to look so i will also leave a link to an article with all the 50 locations this does mean that you can already get this outfit very early on if you want. You will also very early on, once again after that something old something new main mission, get a pop up that the DLC is available. Meaning that you can already jump into the three different episodes from that point. Now I would not recommend it as the story takes place after the main quest. But it's still worth noting as every episode unlocks three extra suits. The first one is the resilient suit which you can already get after the first mission of the heist DLC. And during this mission, I was really stunned by the nice reflections inside the museum you have to go to. But this only with the space reflections mode enabled. I think this less taxing on your hardware, but also less advanced than ray tracing. You can easily switch that on and off in the settings menu, switch between the different modes. And I was really stunned by how good this game looks with the very high ray tracing in that first MJ part. With the art reflecting on the ground one on one really impressive it's also amazing inside the feast building or when just swinging through the city the game has an unlocked frame rate so it can really go as high as your pc can handle while maintaining the amazing reflections now going back to the dlc outfits because in the first episode you can also unlock the spider uk suit which is like fine and nothing too special now the Scarlet Spider suit is my favorite of that first expansion with a full on red look and the black shoulders and hat. Pretty awesome. Now luckily the suits from the second episode Turf Wars are more exciting. Here you can already get the Spider Armor MK1 early on. Overall it's awesome how every MK suit looks different and it is totally one of my favorites thanks to the silver plate armor. Another comic style suit is the Spider Clan also unlocked in DLC 2 really unique makes peter look way younger as well but it also got some nice heavy punch gloves the final outfit of dlc 2 is the iron spider not outfit but armor and yes maybe you already guessed it using the iron arms the suit power on this one changes them from red and gold we see on the iron spider suit to full on gold with the iron spider armor really awesome and it's unique to this suit the Peter into the spider first suit is an early unlock in the third DLC. It's of course super basic, but with some nice twists as we saw in the movie. But overall, my favorite suit in the game is the Cyborg Spider-Man suit from the 90s. With the robotic arm, the eye patch looks just awesome. It really sucks that you can only get this suit really late into the game, like from the final DLC, as I would love it earlier in my playthrough. And to round out, the DLC 3 suits is the Aaron Aikman Spider Armor from the Edge of the Spider-Verse arc. Another great addition, but there's one suit that I did not mention yet. First, real quick, of course, if you like the content, subscribe for way more Spider-Man videos. I will be keeping an eye out for the mods, because I think they will be wild in this game. A like on the video would of course really help us out. Let me know your favorite suit in the comments down below. And right now a spoiler warning for the final suit as it's one you wear late in the game. Okay, you're still here. This is the black armored spider suit with the amazing yellow spider and eyes. One of the coolest designs in the game in my opinion and just a great end to the awesome main story. Check out overall tips for the game by clicking on the screen and I'll of course speak to you soon. Goodbye.